next, a UFC lightweight division bout. Ground and Pound is a true art form. I mean, whether you're talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov, Jack Hermanson, or this guy, they've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, it's unbelievable to watch him take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just go punch, 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 punch for the sake of punching. He finds position. He finds posture. He brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands the big right hands that makes his opponent fold up, and then he goes to the next position, whether it be submission or continuing to ground and pound his opponents into the bottom of the octave. And of course, it all starts with maintaining top position, which he does as well as anyone in the game. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again today. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with bears? <laughs> he is so strong. He's so physical in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me uh, down, but it's okay. It sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> and now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Nurmagomedov is two years his senior. The rest is nearly identical. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the Ladies octagon where we find Bruce three Buffer. rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Mitchell will see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Makhakala, Russia, Islam Malkachev. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a grappler, only a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. Here we go. Big punch hands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? A little single collar tie there. He gets to a spot, the tie group. Then he starts to Archie, there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Nice hammer fist. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, and he's back up again. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. Also looked like maybe the fighter had defended that properly, but Nurmagomedov once again gets the takedown. Habib has fantastic chain wrestling. It's not just one attack that you have to worry about. It's the second and third level of his wrestling that usually gets guys down to the ground. 
man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, side control now. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Just over three minutes to go. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. That right hand landed. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet now. Stuff to take down, no problem. I mean, this guy is really... Hip tosses him down, now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Nurmagomedov's got the tie clinch now. That is how you scramble, folks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both... Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Working out of the half guard here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Let's go. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. And attack an armbar. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It was always something different, but it always led to his opponent in a great top position. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this when the strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, he lands another shot. 
strike to the body. So a nice going for the takedown here, and it is good. High amplitude takedown there, and he gets it right after catching the leg. So those are some high-level fighting instincts on display right there. Good, solid strike on the ground. Nice hammer fist. Right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Solid strike on the ground. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips, trying to get that arm underneath the chin. He's that guilty. He might get a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Get side mount, and now maybe the Von Fluke choke will be there. Open St. Prue has got to like that transition there. Not tapping out tonight. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield to try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. That'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is... All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Close guard. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Lands the ground and pound strike. Remain in the round. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Thirty seconds to go. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Side control now. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch that found the awesome. target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. Last round, guys, you ready? You ready?
third and final round. Beautiful strike. Right hook to the head block. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. He's gonna try to take him down, there you go. Oh, he slams him to the ground. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. I mean, how many can he take? Got an angle here to try to change the position. Gotta be careful, Armbar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. might just be a matter of time. There's the tap. He's done, he's done. What a performance. Yeah, that is high level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening. And then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it, Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 36 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they did it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission, he got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.